uh, that are replaying. Here's Mayor Coogan, I believe. Just for one minute, just for one minute, just pause and think about our public safety officers, particularly our firemen, yeah. and down on Brighton Street. Fighting a very serious three alarm fire. Um, I did get to go down there and saw the coordination and the effort, and those guys were grinding to get that building next to the fire saved and to put the fire out. So, again, if we could just take a moment of silence for them to honor the work they're doing right now on Brighton Street in Florida. Thank you. Okay. Now. With that being said, the focus of today in Fall River was winning an election against a very, very strong opponent, a former district attorney, a former mayor, and I can't tell you enough how great this victory feels, how much work went into it, and it's not because of Paul Coogan, it's because of the team in this room and the people in this city that know and respect hard work, and that's what's going to be... I thought we were getting invaded, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> The hard work that goes into this race and what we did today in the city was nothing short of spectacular. We, we worked every precinct, we did the best we could, and I can't thank you all enough. I owe you a tremendous debt of gratitude, and I really appreciate what's going on in the city. So give yourself a hand. I appreciate it. And I'm going to tease you a little bit. Tomorrow we're getting two big endorsements. So we're going to have the Democratic endorsements, we're going to have the Republican endorsements, we're going to have the Congressman endorsements, and we're going to go straight to work tomorrow to keep the focus on winning the election in November. Um, I love this job, and I take it very, very seriously. I try to go to work every single day to make Fall River a better place to live. And that's the whole secret to this job. It's not a deal, it's not who knows what, what's going where, it's how do we make the city a better place to live and work together. I want to congratulate the councilors tonight on the hard fought race they had also. We'll see who ends up in November in the top nine. But with that being said, the only thing I want to make sure you leave tonight from Dunny's, I want to thank obviously the Donovan family for hosting us, I really appreciate this. Leave tonight, no, the work is beginning tomorrow. And second of all, I can't do it without you. I appreciate every single one of you and the help you've given me through the years. Um, we're going to wrap this up in November simply because of your efforts and the work you put in, all of you, to making this city a better place to live. Thank you all very, very much.